Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Today's devotion is on our faith is not in vain. We'll begin with our hymn, This Joyful Easter Tide. This joyful Easter tide, away with sin and sorrow. My love, the crucified, has sprung to life this morrow. Had Christ who once was slain not burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain. But now has Christ arisen, arisen, arisen. But now has Christ arisen. My flesh in hope shall rest, and for a season slumber, till Trump from east to west shall wake the dead in number. Had Christ who once was slain not burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain, but now is Christ arisen, 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 but now is Christ arisen. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Now, if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead... How can some of you say there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain, and your faith is in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God, because we testified about God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, if it is true that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, not even Christ has been raised, and if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile, and you are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the firstfruits of those who have fallen asleep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If Christ had not been raised from the dead, your faith is in vain, and my preaching is in vain. <laughs> then I'd be found to be misrepresenting God if the, if the dead are not raised, because that means Christ himself is not raised from the dead. One of the only things that, uh, this is one of the things that sets apart Christianity from all the other teachings in the world, all the other religions, is that our faith is falsifiable. Just find us the body of Jesus Christ. Bring forth his bones, bring forth his body, and our faith will, i tell you what, we'll just quit believing in this Christianity business. If Christ is truly dead, our faith is misplaced. It should not be in Christ as our God and Lord. But, in fact, Christ is raised from the dead. <laughs> he is tri triumphant and victorious over sin and death and hell. We are no longer in our sins because Christ has triumphed over it, atoned for our sins. God has accepted his sacrifices. In fact, Christ has truly been raised from the dead and our faith is not missed placed when we trust in him for life eternal. Christ has been raised from the dead, in fact. And because of that, we have no reason to fear anything that this life can throw at us because Christ has triumphed over sin and every evil. And our lives and our faith is rightly placed into his hands. This we rejoice in. And this is why we know with certainty that what we believe and what Christ has taught us in the scriptures is a firm foundation. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, you have told us in the scriptures that if Christ has not been raised, then our faith in him is in vain. But in fact, you did raise Christ from the dead after three days, resting in the tomb, having atoned for all our sins and trespasses. Teach us by his glorious resurrection from the dead 
that our faith is well placed in you and your word. This we ask and pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.